By that time, money-sniffing dogs had already discovered the cash. He was arrested and all of the $350,000 was confiscated. Bajakajian's attorney argued his client should only have to pay a $5,000 fine. But the Justice Department wanted to keep it all, as forfeiture laws allow in big drug and money laundering cases. But in this case, the Justice Department lost because the money wasn't from drugs, gambling, or theft, and now they have to return the $350,000. Now, Mr. Bajakajian is also waiting to hear if the U.S. will pay him interest. This case aside, however, you still must report taking more than $10,000 out of the country. And Mike Beck. That's a fascinating one, Linda. I hope he gets his interest, too. Thanks.